as a proud public employee. You represent, together, you represent 43,000 smart, hardworking, dedicated people working for state government and local government and nonprofits. You guys make Minnesota work. You make it work. And you stand up, you stand up for the value of your work. I am so proud to stand here with the best lieutenant governor the state of Minnesota has ever had, Tina Spence. You're an absolute best. I just want you to know how proud I am to stand here before you today, and I'm proud to stand with you, fighting for so many of the causes we believe in. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your support back in September of 2009, when you made a leap of faith and endorsed me. Uh, you were the first to endorse me. And uh, I'm forever grateful for that, and I will forever uh, remember that. And Tina and I are proud to be working with you. Because, uh, you know, we share with you the belief in the importance of government to our, our fellow citizens. And like you, I know that their well-being and some uh, Minnesotans, even their lives, depend upon the essential services that you and other AFSCME workers provide. And like you, I know that Minnesota's public employees are good, dedicated, hardworking people who deserve thanks, not threats. That's right. Yeah. I know because I've worked with you and beside you in four different state offices and agencies for 16 years. The past two years, the opponents of government have held the majority of the Minnesota House. Some still want to turn your defined benefit pensions into defined contribution plans, where you roll the dice and take your chances. Well, that won't happen as long as I'm governor. That's a guarantee. Many want to privatize essential government services, have private, profit-making corporations run things that government should do, like having a privately run prison in Appleton. Well, that won't happen either as long as I'm governor. That's another guarantee. Our public safety should be protected by public employees who are accountable to the citizens of Minnesota and their stakeholders people who, like us, believe in government, who understand its importance in people's lives, who want to improve it, and will stand with us against those who would destroy what we have been able to accomplish together over the last six years. Minnesota's future is in your hands. Thank you very much.